Good morning, Malvern, and happy Friday. My name is Teddy Hawk, and I will be your host this morning for our first extended show of the year. Today is November 8th, 2019. It is a day one regular schedule with a C week for activities. The quote today is, Hope has two beautiful daughters. Their names are anger and courage. Anger at the way things are, and courage to see that they do not remain the way that they are. St. Augustine said that. For our first special segment of the extended show, I was able to get a unique look into the MP water polo team. We got special interviews with Coach Schiller, the team captains, and some underclassmen on the team. Let's take a look. Disappointing season last year and preparing to dominate in the coming few years, we were able to sit down and talk with the coach, the captains, and some up and coming freshmen to understand what the 2019 Malvern Prep water polo team is all about. Uh, I'm Jack Cassidy. I play two meter offense and I'm one of the co-captains. I'm Jake Caulfield. Um, uh, I play goalie and I'm also one of the co-captains. Captains Jack and Jake have been on the water polo team since freshman year. Because of this, they were able to experience the dominating force that the water polo team was from 2012 to 2017. Uh, I think ever since they left, you know, we've realized that we got to work a lot harder and get better throughout practices. Uh, it's definitely been hard, you know, trying to get used to going from 10 seniors to two in a year. Um, but I think over time, you know, we've been working to get better, and I think it's starting to pay off a little bit. Oh boy, uh, <laughs> tough question. All right, well, five years ago was uh, the start of, uh, if you look at our banner up there, that was the start of a nice championship run that we had. Those teams were uh, uh, a culmination of guys getting involved in water polo. Uh, those teams were very uh, senior laden and had many senior leaders and many upperclassmen who uh, were, were very good at the game. Uh, that Those teams from five years ago till uh, two years ago had several Division I athletes on them. So uh, it's, it's hard to compare. This year we're still young, we're still rebuilding. Uh, and with only two seniors and only one senior last year, we've been a young team. Well, the teams that have passed through Malvern have certainly been impressive. Coach Schiller has high hopes for the future of this currently young team. Wow, we have six freshmen, and uh, to have three freshmen that have been uh, getting some varsity minutes has been very impressive. Uh, most impressive has been uh, Brady Tierney, who has uh, earned himself a starting role on the varsity team. Uh, Brady Tierney and um, a driver. Um, I would say our dynamic, we're, we're very, I mean, our whole team, we're all good friends. We uh, laugh around together. I, w I would say we all like to hang out too, so it's a good team dynamic. I think we try and create like a, uh, a fun, like kind of lighthearted like atmosphere where anybody can just kind of joke around or when, but when we have to, everybody plays hard uh, in practice and in games, but we can have fun doing it. Where do you expect your team to be three years in the future? Three years in the future, I would say that if, uh, our current freshman class, and I'm excited about our eighth grade class, which is uh, very good and uh, doing very well in our middle school. Uh, and of course, any athletes that uh, end up coming to Malvern, uh, we can be as good as some of those teams that won those league championships several years ago. Uh, so I'm really excited with our six freshmen and uh, you know, we have a nice balance of juniors, sophomores and freshmen on the team. Uh, so I think the future's bright. We'd like to thank Coach Schiller, Jay Caulfield, Jack Cassidy, Brady Tierney, and Ben Kutaferis for helping to make this segment possible. Today for lunch we have bacon cheeseburgers, fried flounder, stewed tomatoes, corn, turkey BLTs are in the deli box, and barbecue chicken pizza is at the pizza station. Here we have an extended weather segment with Peter Russell. Peter, what's in store for the weekend? 
Later tonight is going to be mostly clear with a low around 24. The wind will be northwest around 5 to 8 miles per hour, becoming a calm after midnight. And Saturday, it is going to be mostly sunny with a high near 43. The wind will be light and, vari and variable around 5 to 7 miles per hour in the afternoon. Later Saturday night, it will be partly cloudy with a low around 31. And on Sunday, it will be... Thanks, Peter. Looks like we're going to have a cloudy weekend. There are no athletic events today, but tomorrow, Saturday, November 9th, Varsity Soccer has a home game against Springside Chestnut Hill at 1. At the same time, Varsity Football has their senior day against Springside Chestnut Hill as well. Speaking of sporting events, October was an exciting time for fall athletics, as most of the teams were in the midst of their seasons. We have a quick recap of October MP Sports with our sports correspondent, Harry Bronia. Hey Harry, how did the month of October go for Malvern Prep Sports? Well, during October, the Malvern Prep varsity football team won two games and lost one game. Well, this upcoming, well, this Saturday, there's actually going to be their last game of the season. It's going to be senior day, so everyone be there. The Malvern Prep varsity soccer team won two games and had six losses this October, but hopefully they can get their last win of the season this Saturday. The Malvern Prep Varsity Water Polo Team had two wins and five losses this October, and the Malvern Prep Varsity Golf Team had two wins and three losses. Great, thanks Harry. Let's check out some of the highlights from October. This clip shows number 26, Isaiah Wright, running the ball for a touchdown. This clip is from the Malvern Prep Varsity Soccer game at home on Saturday, 26. It shows the team praying before the game started. This clip shows the team kicking the ball around. Here's number 10, Ethan Koga kicking it to number 4, Kieran Barr. And then Kieran kicking it back to number 12, Luke Lightman, as he kicks it back to Kieran. Kieran then kicks it back to Luke. Luke then kicks the ball to number 20, Jaden Vogelman. And then lastly, he kicks the ball to number 15, Connor McNally. This clip shows number 21, Gavin DeJadia, corner kicking it as one of the Malvern players kicks it in for a goal. Thanks, Harry, for, for that great information and putting together that segment. Our reporter, Michael McGrory, got an exclusive look with one of the leads in the musical, Aiden White. Let's check it out. I fell in love with it and fell in love with performing and making people laugh, and I've just done it for years now, and I really, really love it. I, it's one of the things I would recommend to any Malvern student here. I've been in other performances with other companies, but nothing like big or major. Okay, so three years in middle school, my fourth year here. It's my seventh year with uh, MTS, which is kind of crazy to think about. I've done every possible show I could have. Personally, my favorite that I've ever been in was my one freshman year, Les Miserables. That is just such a great show. The music was so great. The cast we had was super talented. It was really, really a fantastic show. Can you describe uh, this year's show and your character? Um, okay, I play Conrad Birdie. The show is about um, Albert Peterson. He is uh, Conrad's manager. And it's kind of about him organizing Conrad and all the shenanigans that go around uh, Conrad going to, into the army. Um, what do you enjoy about being involved with MTS? Just the opportunity to perform in front of a group of people and to make people laugh and just to spread joy. I mean to spread your talents. It's really an amazing, amazing program. It's a ton of fun. We'd like to thank Aiden White for his openness to our cameras. Also, just as a reminder, Bye Bye Birdie has two more performances, tonight and tomorrow night at 7 p.m. You can purchase tickets on Malvern's website under Arts and Malvern Theater Society. We hope to see you there. We have on call with us today, Mrs. Engel, to give us some more information about the phonathon. Good morning, Mrs. Engel. Good morning, Teddy. Thanks for having me on the show today. Of course. Thanks for coming. What exactly will the callers be doing during the phonathon? 
Great question, and I've actually heard this a few times this week. Um, so the phone-a-thon is by application only. So if you are selected, uh, we're going to be holding the phone-a-thon in the student union. The callers will come into the student union whenever they're available to assist, and they'll be making calls to the many supporters that Malvern has. These are people that have already donated to, to Malvern in the past, who already believe in our mission, and who already love what we do and love you guys. So our callers will be giving them a call and asking them to renew their gift on Giving Tuesday. Awesome. What type of training or resources will the participants need or have ahead of time? Great question. I know this is another one I've heard too. <laughs> um, and I, I understand that maybe doing doing something new can be a little bit nerve wracking, but I wanna reassure everybody that um, the development team is here to help. Um, we're gonna make sure that everybody receives the training and the resources that they need in order to ensure their success. Um, those resources include um, prep videos in the beginning. We're also going to have some frequently asked question packets and if you're selected, you're going to be invited to a catered lunch in Austin Hall with the development team. I'd also like to mention that during the phone -thon, our entire team is going to be there. We're going to have your back. So if you have any questions, we'll be there. Awesome. Uh, can you tell us why we're doing the phone -thon in the first place? Hey, Teddy, do you know Mr. Bren? I do not. Hi, good, mor <laughs> good morning, Teddy. Good morning, Malvern. Uh, Teddy, thanks for having us on your show this morning. And we just want to thank all of you students um, and for helping us with, with our efforts. Mrs. Engel has been point on this phone a thon, but I also want to thank uh, our marketing and communications department, especially Ms. Bresnicki, uh, who has been point for this whole Giving Tuesday effort um, and really trying to raise funds for Malvern and to create the best possible experience for you students. So thank you for all that you do. We have ambitious goals this year in the development department. We're trying to raise close to just over $3 million this year. And the, the best way to get to our alums, to get to our parents, to get to our friends of the school is really for, for them to get connected to the current students here. They love that. So mm -hmm. thank you for all of your help in supporting us with this phone -thon, And we appreciate all that you guys continue to do. So I hope, wish everybody a great weekend. A happy Thanksgiving coming up soon, and we look forward to working with you. Thanks, Teddy, for having me. Of course. Thanks and for Teddy, coming on. Teddy, don't forget to mention on TV that today is the deadline for applications, okay? Well, you just did it, so today's the deadline. <laughs> Everyone apply. Perfect. Mrs. Engel sent out an email yesterday, and is another one coming out today or no? Not really. Okay. So the title I'll of the email I'll is, I'll what's the Last subject? Last Camp. Last, Last chance. chance. So search your inbox and apply because it sounds like a fun time. I applied. So we'll see if I get in. Sure. All right. Thanks so much for coming. <laughs> Thanks, Terry. Thanks, guys. Thanks a lot for watching. We hope you enjoyed our extended show. And stay tuned for the next extended show to be early December. If anyone has any topics that they think we should cover, please feel free to email us at Malvern Prep or excuse me, mptv at malvernprep.org. Um, again, thanks so much for watching, and your regularly scheduled uh, morning announcements will be back on Monday. Have a great weekend and day, and we will see you in about a month.